Welcome everybody to the seasonal diet, historical based nutrition where we eat what our ancestors ate when they ate it like we were evolved to do. But today we are speaking about DNA and how memories of the food we eat can actually be passed down. There have been studies done on mice and what they did was basically train the mice to fear or have a distaste for a certain smell or food. In this study uh, it was cherry blossom specifically but they've used other uh, foods in different studies and basically they would shock the mice every time uh, they uh, released this cherry blossom smell in the cage training the mice to fear and have a distaste for cherry blossom uh, those mice had babies and those babies too had the same fear of cherry blossom smell in the cage even though uh, they had no uh, uh, memories of the shock they were never shocked in the second generation then those mice had children and they inherited the same fear of the cherry blossom smell up to seven generations they have found in some of these studies and they had the same fear for that smell that was passed down so this is yet another reason to eat the way our ancestors have eaten those memories are in here somewhere. Maybe, you know, the reason that you like cherries is because your great-grandfather liked cherries, or maybe the reason you don't particularly like, uh, uh, whatever, shellfish. It's because an ancestor seven generations back had an allergic reaction and, and was harmed because of that. So those memories are in there, and in my opinion, something spiritual too. If we eat the same things that our ancestors ate long ago, it might help jog other memories and bring back some physical and mental benefits that will help us in life. And that's where seasonal eating comes in, eating cherries in the summertime, or pumpkin in the fall, or uh, roast pork at Christmas time. Not only are those things healthy and make us happy, but it could potentially bring back some memories in our DNA of those things. But that's just me, eat whatever you want. See you next time.